these are fun to spin. They look so pretty. Hey, Magic Community. Uh, just having a little fun goofing off. Dominaria Remastered Collector Booster Boxes. Uh, we're going to get back into it. We opened our first one on our live stream where we did a rip and ship. Uh, by the way, guys, we are doing rip and ship. So if you're interested in buying product, we we're, we're, we aim to have the best prices in the market. Right now, these are $293 on TCG Player Low. We've got them for $285 shipped or $280 if you're a patron. Anyway, let's rip into this booster box, see what kind of cool stuff we can get. We'll talk more about that, uh, that rip and ship stuff here in a minute. All right, so this is uh, probably going to be a little bit of a quicker opening. You know, all the cards that they did, I can't even freaking get this wrapper off. My goodness. Let me grab my nice little knife here and see uh, if that'll even work, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me get a bigger cut going. There we go. Now we can rip into it. All right, so this set is full of awesome, amazing art. There really is some great artists in here. They've done a lot of art for Magic's history with John Avon, Seb McKinnon. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, very popular artists throughout Magic history that I absolutely love the art for. And, uh, you know, you've got all the tutors. And if I'm not mistaken, every single tutor was done by Richard Kane Ferguson, who's also an amazing artist. So anyway, looks like this pack's a little disheveled. We'll start here. Actually, we'll just leave that here. We'll start here with this. The interesting thing about collector boosters from Dominaria Mastered is unlike... I think there's a pull tab here. There is, but it's not the greatest. These packs are a little tougher to open. Uh, unlike traditional collector boosters where the rare and the mythics are at the back of the pack, all the commons are at the back. So everything is up front, so that lets us get right into it because we're going to pass over most of the commons and commons anyway. We just want to focus on the hits and see what we can open, right? So, starting off with a Lotus Bloom, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, full art or extended art foil, borderless foil. Very nice. Very nice to see that art, too. That is a, a nice car that was originally printed in Urza's Saga. Going into a Mystical Tutor, there's that Richard Kane Ferguson art I was just talking about. Very nice art, indeed. He is a wonderful artist. So, we're going to try to make a couple of different piles here. There's a Gemstone Mine is our retro frame slot. That's a retro frame rare. Very nice to see a reprint of that. And our next one's going to be our traditional pack foil, the normal foil. And it is a Wrath of God, which I didn't even know was in this set. I did look a lot of the spoilers, but not everything. So there's going to be some stuff that catches off guards. We've got an Empty the Warrens foil common uh, uh, retro frame. And boy, do I say these retro old border foils look gorgeous. And they did it perfect. They did it just like the old school days where there's no foiling in the art. There's no foiling in the text box. Your foiling is just on the border and on that nice little shooting star. So very nice to see that. <clears throat> then you've got a couple of non-foils here in our retro frame. Then you're going to have a foil retro frame land, which is a mountain. Very nice. Rob Alexander art. And then you're going to have your commons and your uncommon uh, foils. So there's a couple things here in the common uncommon slot like counterspell, chain lightning. Uh, you know, there's the uh, nature's lore that's going to be valuable, but... For the most part, you're looking for those retro frame slots for sure. So let's get to the rest of this box. Uh, we had a uh, crawl space here. We have a crawl space retro frame foil. Very, very nice indeed. And uh, by the way, guys, if you didn't see our first box opening, if you check out our channel, we did a live stream. It's our live Dominaria Remastered stream that we did on opening day. And we got uh, that box was fire. I got to say, if you didn't see that box, ooh, nut collector, that box was really indeed fire. So go check it out. So I'll put the retro frame here, I guess, right now. <clears throat> Nut Collector is a mythic here in this set, so that's our borderless here. A Chainer Dimension Master is our retro frame. And uh, last pack foil is going to be a Cliff Top Retreat. So very nice. A Sawtooth Loon in our retro foil. There's a Nature's Lore I was talking about in a retro frame. Mog War Marshall, beautiful island by Mark Poole. That's original Alpha Beta art. Very, very nice. And then uh, nothing special here in the... There's a grape shot in the common uncommon slot. So, anyway, like I said, guys, uh, we're doing rip and ships on these. Right now, the cheapest is $293 on uh, TCG Player Low. You might have a local store that has them for $280, $285, but we are trying to be the best price around town. So, if you're interested in one of these collector boxes, it is $285 shipped. $280 if you're a patron, and that is flat. There's no tax, there's no fees in that. That's everything's included straight to your doorstep. 
All you got to do is send us an email, info, I-N-F-O, at PaxForPurpose.com. Let us know you're interested, or join us on one of our live streams, Rip and Ship live streams. Uh, we will have the... Um, <clears throat> let's see what this for let's get a sneak peek here real quick so it's a retro frame red card we will have the shopify account live soon on our website we don't have that set up yet but eventually we will have that and you'll be able to pre-purchase products because we're going to be doing pre-sales Ooh, siege gang commander we're going to be doing pre-sales on phyrexia all will be one you can order set boxes draft boxes collector boxes for rip and ship uh and you can save when you bundle and discount so uh that will be coming soon i'm moving into a grim lava mancer very nice art there I'll stop babbling about our ripping ships, and uh, we'll just move on to this box. Lotus Bloom in the retro frame slot. So now we're seeing it in that retro frame. We have it in the borderless uh, foil form here. And here's the retro, followed by a Sylvan Library. Very, very good foil mythic to hit indeed. Very nice. Uh, sitting at around $30, I believe, for that foil, so that's nice. Renewed Faith, Ornithopter, Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Nice to see that in retro. And a foil retro Swamp. Very, very nice. Uh, nothing special in the common uncommon slot there, except for maybe the frantic search. Uh, we'll go down the left side of the box first. I'm going to get to a lot of these packs as quick as possible now that we kind of see what, what we're looking at here in this set. And I've done some rambling. Windborn Muse, Retro Frame Shiv and Dragon. Very nice card to see in the Retro Frame. Not anything of value, just kind of a good nostalgic card. And there is a normal foil crawl space, so that's good to go there. Very nice there on the crawl space. I love crawl space. Crawl space is a real... Uh, favorite of mine from back in the day from uh, Urza's Legacy. There's a Street Wraith in Retro Foil. That's nice to see reprinted in that Retro Frame. Uh, Wild Dogs, Goblin Matron, and then your Romus Swamp. This is from Portal Second Age, one of the most expensive swamps in Portal. I think they're like 12 bucks or something. Very popular art for that swamp. Nice to open that for sure. Let's get in. We're almost halfway through. We got a couple packs before we're halfway through the box. We're going to speed right through this going into a birds of paradise a borderless foil very nice worldly tutor awesome hit on that richard kane ferguson art again he did all the art for the tutors nantuko shade didn't even know this was in the set retro frame sarah avatar so this is a foil that we opened before so it looks like i'm getting a little bit of duplication here in the same case that's fine fire blast retro frame foil very nice damping sphere terror a nice richard wright uh, island art there very nice it shines a very uh, God, i love the way these retro foils look look how nice that looks guys that is just gorgeous that pops that pops so nice off the card <clears throat> all right pack number six we're halfway through the box after this and then we'll get into the current giveaway stuff we'll talk about that we'll add a couple of bonus cards to the giveaway going into a decimate borderless foil art uh, enlightened tutor very nice so got a lot of tutors in this box there he is again, Richard Kane Ferguson. No Mercy on the Retro Frame. Very nice Mythic to open in that Retro Frame slot. Love seeing No Mercy make an appearance back from Urza's Legacy. Savannah's Reclamation Foil. Momentary Blink. And, ooh, look at that. Borderless Street Wraith. Very nice. And another Roma Swamp Art. Love the art on that swamp. Very, very nice. All right. Getting down to the second half of the box. Going to rip right through these. Going to try to make this video a little bit faster. Windborn Muse, Borderless Foil, very nice art there indeed. A Gemstone Mine, Borderless. A Helm of Awakening in that retro slot, that's nice to see a reprint of. And a Foil Gemstone Mine in the normal slot there, so very nice to see that. Ooh, Chain Lightning, this is one of the good ones to get in that retro frame foil for sure. Also pops really nicely there on that red foiling. Love the way the reds and the blues look. Uh, and there's that uh, island there again, uh, Richard Wright Island. <clears throat> Very nice to see that little chain lightning art. See if we can rip right into this one. All right, let's see. And we, ooh, big money hit right there. This is what's being sought after for sure. Retro frame, foil retro, Birds of Paradise, original Mark Pool art. This is, uh, it was such a hot card in 7th edition. Uh, very expensive card too. This is just a fantastic see in that retro frame foil. God, it is so gorgeous too. Uh, last I checked, these were 40, 50 bucks. Uh, I don't know if they've dropped since release. Uh, it is on Saturday that I'm recording this, so uh, I'm not sure if that will drop. If they drop below 20 bucks, guys, I'd be picking these up left and right. This is just too, too good of a card to not pick up. Anyway, I'll stop focusing on it. It's just so gorgeous. Love the retro frame Birds of Paradise. 
Very good hit indeed. Going on to a Yawgmoth Fran Physician. What a pack. My goodness. This pack has value. Value Town. Followed by an Oversold Cemetery. Also a very nice card to open retro. And a Sapperling a Symbiosis. That was a great pack. Mishra's Factory. Necro Savant. Counterspell Retro Frame. A Mountain Rob Alexander. And uh, nothing special in the common slot. That Birds caught me off guard. That was really cool to hit. Uh, you know, the first box we opened had 14 Mythics. Don't know what this one's going to be sitting at. Going into a Test of Endurance. So there's another Mythic. Foil Borderless. Uh, not really the card that I'd want to open in this slot. But hey, the art's nice. And uh, I, I do want one of these for sure. Last Chance. Another Mythic here. Very nice art indeed. Love the art on this one. Uh, very, uh, you know, matches the name of the card quite well. Is it last chance to survive? He's, looks like he's afraid of that dragon's about to just torch him. Anyway, all right. Divine Sacrament is our retro frame. And a Mystic Remora, which is always fun to open in that slot because it is so good in EDH, Commander, um, if you're running it. And there's a Foil Lull. There's your Chain Lightning. High Tide, very nice. Be nice to see this in Foil. And there is a uh, very beautiful... Uh, forest, and then I don't think we have anything here. No nope. impulse might be kind of cool in that retro. I mean that frame, um, in that retro frame slot. If we can open a retro impulse foil, that'd be nice. All right, so whoa, right into stroke of genius. I got excited with the blue. See how I said the blue pops so well, guys. I got excited that it might be a force of will, but uh, that blue just looks so pretty in that retro frame foil slot. It does. Jester's cap, very menacing looking indeed on that art. Love the art on that Jester's Cap. There's Nut Collector. Very nice. Uh, Mythic. I like the retro frame on that one. I really do. Chainer Dimension Master in that traditional foil. Got a Savannah Lions. Definitely a, a classic card there from Magic's History. Uh, another Rob Alexander Mountain. Very nice to see. An Ornithopter foil. Okay, cool. There's a Horseshoe Crab. Some good memories from Acadian Mask for sure. Two packs left. Like I said, this is trying to be a little bit quicker of a video than... Uh, than I normally have. Some of my videos can run 30 minutes and whatnot, and I just want to get into it. Very nice. Mystical Tutor Foil. Love seeing that in foil. God, that's gorgeous. I really like that. That's very, very nice. Uh, where do we put this? We put this here. We put this here. Oh, there we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We just got half of our box price back, or almost half of our box price back, with another Force of Will. Um, uh, yeah, this was a very nice hit when we, uh, well, go check out our live stream. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, very nice. Love seeing that Force of Will. This is, uh, this is the kind of card we want to see, right? Uh, it can't get any better at Force of Will. It is the most expensive card in the set unless you get foil version of it, but very, very awesome. Love hitting that Force. There's a Forgotten Ancient and a Exploration Foil. Totally forgot this card was in the set, but a very good one to have indeed. Uh, Jim Palm Incinerator, there's your Duress, Mog War Marshal, and another Mark Pool Retro Foil Island. All right, let's move on. Last pack of the box, and then we'll get into that giveaway information for you guys, and we'll talk about what that current giveaway is, and uh, what you can do to enter to win it, and then some cool upcoming stuff that we've got going on. So there is a Lieutenant Kurtar, not the Retro Foil I want to see, but uh, definitely a card that I remember when I played Magic from back in the day. And then we've got a Test of Endurance again in non-foil. A Gamble in the Retro Frame slot. So not bad on the Gamble. That's what we're doing with these boxes, taking a Gamble. And a Lotus Blossom in the foil, traditional foil slot. So uh, very nice card indeed. There's a Juggernaut, a uh, White Mane Lion, a Vaduk, and then an Island, a Richard Wright Island. Um, very nice foil. All right, so that was it. That was a box. Uh, let me do the Mythic count. I don't think this had as many Mythics as we had previously in one of our previous boxes. So that's one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. Maybe it does have enough. I don't know. Six. Okay, so we have six there. What do we get here? So we've got seven, eight. Okay, so we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Nine. 10, 10 Mythics, 10 Mythics. So not as high as the first box we opened with 14, but still not a bad box nonetheless, especially with that Force of Will. Love seeing that Force of Will open. Love seeing the foil uh, borderless for Mystical Tutor. 
I mean, the Birds of Paradise is nice. That retro frame Birds of Paradise we opened is just gorgeous. I'll have to sleeve that. So yeah, let me get this cleared off my desk, and I'll get right back with y'all on that giveaway, what you can do to enter, because we are giving away a full commander deck, guys. So let me get this all off, and we'll talk about the giveaway. All right, guys, let's talk about this real quick. I'll be brief. So currently, we are giving away a Dominaria United Painbow Commander deck. There is a link down in the description below of this video where you can enter to win this Painbow Commander deck. We've already opened some good cards uh, in our shorts. We, we do a lot of YouTube shorts and we add stuff in our shorts a lot of the times. And we open products, we open boosters to have fun, and then that gets added to the giveaway. So we have this stack here of stuff that we've already opened. There was a couple of classic Ixalan and Dominaria original packs that we opened. Uh, so go check out our shorts. I'm not going to pull this whole stack out now and go through it at the moment. There's obviously an Arch of Arouska there. We opened a couple of Dominaria packs for their new remastered set. We got a retro last chance. Um, a couple of other cool cards and retro cards. And then uh, the other rare, there's Joel Rael, Retro Invigorating Boon. So very nice. This gets out of this stack. We're going to add in some promos as well to this today. Uh, we're just going to throw in, courtesy of Uncanny Comics and Games, our a local game store out here in a Richmond, a Rosenberg area, Texas. And they uh, are very uh, generous to give us a lot of promos to give out to you guys. So give a big special thanks to them. If you want to go to, uh, there's a link in the description below to their website. If you want to send them an email, just give them a big thank you for all the stuff they do for us here on the channel. Uh, they're the reason we're able to offer some of the products to you that we do at the prices that we do with our rip and ships. They're also the reason that we're giving away all these awesome promos like this foil borderless, I'm sorry, not borderless, retro foil sanctum prelate here and a uh, retro foil Sarah Angel. So this is all going to be added in the giveaway too. Uh, so link in the description below to enter to win that, guys. We're doing a lot of rip and ships. We'll have our Shopify account up and running soon. If you are interested in a Dominaria remastered collector booster box, I don't have drafts at the moment. Uh, you can purchase one. It's $285 shipped, $280 if you're a patron. That's taxes and shipping included in that. It is just flat. Uh, send us an email, info, info at paxforpurpose.com. Let me know you're interested in that. We will get you set up. Uh, you can send us a PayPal payment of that. You can even just send it right on over to PayPal if you want, and then send an email to us. Info at PaxForPurpose.com is our PayPal. And then we will schedule a date where we can do your lurping ship. We can do it live. We can do it pre-recorded. Uh, probably want to do it live. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, don't forget, we've got something cool coming out. We're going to be doing a magic artist series. We're reaching out to a lot of local artists. So if you're an artist and you want to feature your stuff on this channel and let us help promote you, please reach out. Info at PaxForPurpose.com and let us know. Anyway, guys, I'll be brief. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Pax for Purpose signing out.